So much more to come on Barnesable this morning. Up next, we're going to learn about a special high school student accomplishing some really big things. Good morning, everyone. You're watching Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin, and I'm very pleased to be joining me. Uh, Katie Curran, uh, she is a senior at Sturgis East and the president and founder of Project Next Generation. Katie, good morning. Hello, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for coming in. So Katie, you are really uh, involved in civic engagement and trying to be a leader in connecting uh, your fellow students and really others uh, across the country and even across the world and getting involved in their community. So tell me a little bit about where does this come from? You know, it's, it's rare that we see young people really wanting to take that leap and to be involved in the community. So where did it come from? Where did you, when did you first start to get interested in this? Well, I would say that for my entire life, my passion for public service and community involvement has really driven me to have an active role in my community and really uh, connect with issues of global importance. So where I would say that it begins is just the the very uniqueness of Cape Cod in itself and I'm re really inspired by all the local public servants that are making a difference and being a young person myself I believe that young people are the most valuable resource in solving problems and on Cape Cod I wanted there to be a year-long uh, initiative that continued for years to come that really inspired students that they can have an active role in government, uh, student council, campaigning but also just understanding what it means to be a global citizen. So I would say what it stems from is many different outlets. I'm an intern at the John F. Kennedy Hyannis Museum and I can say that the Kennedy family has been very inspiring. I really appreciate that uh, experience and overall it's just the community that's cultivated and I want to share that same passion with other kids. What does it mean to be a global citizen? I would say a global citizen is someone who understands the world around them and is aware of issues and recognizes injustice and really wants to make a difference and really address those issues. So what I try to teach students by being a global citizen is you can make a difference both locally and globally. Find your passion, recognize how how the field can be changed and then we provide the resources and tools for them to hit the ground running and really focus on causes they care about whether it be the environment, animals, different political elections, there are so many possibilities and a global citizen is someone who works in a global community to really address these issues and make a difference. What do you think are some of the roadblocks that young people face uh, in, in you know, maybe finding their passion to taking that step to get involved? Right, absolutely. I would say the biggest thing, and as I've developed Project Next Generation, I've recognized that many students want to make a difference, but they're not sure where to start. So it's kind of y the, what's lacking and what I'm trying to foster is a bridge between opportunities and youth who care. Because there's many kids who want to really be civically engaged but they would like to have a group of supportive peers that also share that same passion and drive for community involvement. So I think what serves as a roadblock is these connections between groups because what I'm doing is bridging students from different middle schools on Cape and beyond where they can develop amazing friendships that last beyond the days of our programs lasting from one day to two weeks and they can really use those uh, friends as resources to really create waves of change. I think that's most important is partnerships. And what you're describing is Project Next Generation and of course that is yes. the organization that you founded and it's centered around uh, several themes and tell me a little bit about the themes uh, that Project Next Generation is centered around. So Project Next Generation is a civics and leadership educational organization that really inspires students to be involved in the community at large. So the different themes I have are I apply the experiences that I have at Sturgis Charter Public School as well as those abroad in different events around the U.S. into formulating a very unique civics curriculum that is interactive but focuses on different areas. So the first area is the United Nations component that is very big in Project Next Generation where we teach students what is the UN, how can you be a global citizen, and how can we be ambassadors of peace in our own community. So through these programs, students are assigned a country where they represent, whether it be Germany or Spain or Sri Lanka, and they welcome the group with a little bit from that language. They learn it as the pre-homework. And then we go into a session of what is the UN, and we conduct um, a mock assembly, a model UN session, where they address an issue and kind of craft a resolution. So we 
usually talk about issues that address the Cape and how they can have a larger scope from the coast of Denmark to Argentina, such as environmental issues. And what I've, how I've created that curriculum is this past summer, I was a representative at International Youth Day at the United Nations for my organization. So I used the skills that I experienced through my Model UN Club at school, but also through hands-on experiences interacting with leaders from around the world and shaping this into a curriculum like no other with skills that aren't taught in the classroom. And with politics, on Veterans Day we celebrate veterans, on Pre President's Day we connect with local firemen to really understand the civic engagement of the community but also show our appreciation for leaders in, in hopes of following in their footsteps. Wow, it seems like it's such a massive undertaking, Katie. How do you A, find the time to do this and B, um, do you have partners that help you accomplish these goals? Yes. So so as far with time, since Project Next Generation is such large interest to me, I always find the time because I'm so passionate about really inspiring young people that every moment is worth it. So what I would say for different uh, partnerships is I've received $50,000 in grants that I apply for myself. I've utilized amazing resources on the internet. Starting the program with zero dollars and a dream, it's been a challenge, but I've been fortunate. Uh, we've developed a board of directors, and I have many friends who reach out into the community. So one, one of my friends that I met on a scholarship in Switzerland at the Global Student Leaders Summit, she led a Project Next Generation session in India this summer. So through these resources, these international partnerships that I've made, we're able to make a difference in local communities that wouldn't have had this, these resources otherwise. And with the John F. Kennedy Hyannis Museum as the Youth Activities Coordinator this summer, I led Camp Kennedy, which are summer camps that involve kids in politics. So I would say that we have amazing um, community centers and local museums that support international partners such as National Geographic and Hasbro Toys, and through those, funding and this in these great sponsorships were able to provide all these classes as tuition free to students of all socioeconomic backgrounds. About how many students are right now here on Cape Cod you have participating in Project Next Generation? So each session will we want to individually mentor the students. So the sessions which la have different duration times will have between 10 and 30 kids and to date I've mentored individually 200 students and these sessions are year-round and students are able to come for just the one day or they'll come for many sessions throughout the year so it's really custom to see what the students love and what fits with their schedule so there's not one straight path but it's really meaningful to have mentored so many kids in the community to date. So Katie of course you are heading off to college next year um, what are your hopes for continuing this project is it something that you're you are training people to be able to take over for you here on Cape Cod or something that you hope to be able to continue to manage uh, wherever it might be that you go? Absolutely, it is my dream to continue Project Next Generation and I know that it will continue expanding. So currently I'm 17 years old, but the moment I turn 18, so I will be turning this into an official nonprofit, signing the form. So my goal for Project Next Generation is to of course keep its roots in Cape Cod because that's so integral to its identity. But the future is really endless. Of course we have many youth representatives and a great board of directors that provides wonderful advice. So what I would say for the future, it's my goal to really spread this curriculum, maybe curriculum in a box that is sent to different communities across the U.S. and globe so they can engage in it with an online platform. But overall I'm looking at possibly in college, co college chapters and of course my younger siblings who are very interested in Project Next Generation while I'm in college will keep the program running on CAPE. So it has a very lively and vibrant future ahead for it. What kind of results have you seen from the students that have gone through Project Next Generation? Do they come out uh, feeling energized and excited about civic engagement? Yes, absolutely. And we've had a teacher, a middle school teacher, tell us that before the program, some of her students were afraid to do public speaking in front of a class, such as poetry slams. And after Project Next Generation, they have incredible tools to present in front of the class confidently. The results we've seen through different uh, post-questionnaire surveys are that student council 
elections have been won through this. Stud students have uh, been able to win their election on their honor society, so there are tangible results. And I hear from many students that say, before the program, they didn't know what the United Nations or, th or the U.S. Senate, what exactly was it and what function did it serve? And now they really understand it. And of course, the biggest result is they want to come back and participate more. You see students volunteering, whether it be at Nas the National Marine Life Center or, or at uh, local nursing homes and it's very rewarding because this, they take the skills they learn and they really apply it into the community and then give back in countless ways. So the results are endless. Really uh, amazing because it's not easy. It's not easy to get people excited and interested and it sounds like you really have found that formula that, that works and getting people when they're young uh, is, 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 is amazing. So is there anything else, I mean I'm sure we could talk for hours about uh, your work with Project Next Generation, but is there anything else that you feel that people really should know uh, about this project or your hopes maybe for the next year of the program? Yes, I would say the big thing that I want people to know is that they're more than welcome to participate in Project Next Generation. They can and create initiatives, speak with me to serve as a mentor, or if they'd like their program brought to their uh, local groups, they can definitely visit projectnextgeneration.org. That's the site that I run and manage. We hold different activities with local Girl Scout troops, and we're looking towards more partnerships to really connect with students who are looking for change. But overall, I'd just like to say that it's been such a meaningful way to give back to my community. And as I uh, approach the college years, I really look forward to giving back to my college campus through Project Next Generation because it's been so rewarding to see it blossom and I, I can only imagine as, as we're discussing who knows where the future of it will be and I can only imagine in five years it just makes me smile because it's so great just seeing kids blossom but the whole idea that other people are interested in participating it's it's just wonderful. So projectnextgeneration.org is where you can find principal resources, videos, and all different activities. Wonderful. Well, Katie, thank you so much for coming in and joining us here on the program. It's really been uh, inspiring. To of course. To thank talk. you for having me. Thank you so much. Katie Thanks. Curran, of course, is a senior at Sturgis East uh, right here in downtown Hyannis, uh, the president and founder of Project Next Generation. You can find them online at projectnextgeneration.org. For Barnstable this morning, I'm Sarah Colvin.